creative people and welcome to my channel. My name is Sherry Thorne. Um, you guys might know it's a different background than what you guys are normally used to. I'm gonna work on that video. It's coming soon-ish. Anyways, um, Today I am going to be doing a book review on The Dream Guy by uh, Rebecca C. Smith. Uh, this book was actually an ARC book. So the book actually got published on the 30th of April. So I'm just a couple of days late getting this posted. So I will have this video posted sometime today. And I will have all the links down below for this book and other books that you can find by this author. Anyways, um, this, the blurb of the book says, after her husband came out and ended their 22 year marriage, Hazel's ready to dive back into Dayton when a dreamy guy next door returns her watching, wandering cat. The conversation follows and Hazel can't help herself. They have the kiss of the century. Plot twist. Immediate friend zone. Uh, now rejected, she decides to explore past connections with men she never pursued because she was married. While rekindling the spark with lost loves, her new friendship with neighbor Ethan intensifies, but he's clearly not interest, interested in the possibility of romance. Uh, she, is memory lane the right path to love or will Hazel end up by herself? After years of toxic choices, Ethan repeat, repeated the same pattern. He met the woman of his dreams and ran like a coward. But he wants to change even if it takes therapy for a shot with her. Will Ethan summon the courage to tell Hazel how he feels or will he lose his chance forever because of his own fears? So that is the blurb on Amazon. I don't have a natural copy of the book. Uh, I actually got it through a PDF or email for the ARC. However, I did finish the book on time, but just barely. So basically the book is a romance comedy book. I have left reviews on my Sherry Thorne account. I have left a review on the Canadian Amazon website. It, at first, I will admit, it took me a bit to get into, so I had to stop, so I actually did stop reading it, and then I ended up having a little bit of an issue, I started reading it on my computer, and then I had an issue on my tablet with the PDF for a little bit, so I fixed that, got back into reading it with only like four days left for reading it before it was due. Um, it definitely has some cute cute humor, some geeky humor if you are into like Star Wars, Star Trek, more Star Wars I believe it was. One of the two, both were definitely mentioned in there, one more than the other. And there is a few other one, uh, Escape to, I'm sorry if I'm going to pronounce this wrong, Ashtana or something like that. And Hazel is basically a gardener or a hort horticultural. Well, Ethan is a graphic designer. They they get connected through Spike, who is Hazel's cat. That gets con that's how they meet, and this is how they became friends. I actually did thoroughly enjoy this one. Uh, the plot point was. I I enjoyed the plot point. It was nice and simple, light and fluffy. There is definitely some humor into it. And that's the part when I first read the book, first started reading, that's the part I was having the hardest time figuring out where the humor was, where the comedy was. So it took another round of picking the book up and rereading it to find the humor. There's cute humor and there's geeky humor. And how they portrayed the friendship into friends to lovers, I actually like. It's not rushed, because at first I thought it was going to be rushed. 
to be totally honest, and I'm glad that it, w it wasn't that case. Um, the only thing I will say against this book is that for me personally, I had the hardest time throughout the whole book picturing the main characters. Actually, I couldn't even picture the main characters throughout the whole series. Not series, throughout the whole book. Now, I don't know if that was intentional to have the imagination just imagine whatever character that can be to look like for you. Like, blue eyes, blonde hair, five feet something. I don't know if they meant that, that to keep it like totally ominous with the. I don't know if this author meant to have the characters to be totally ominous. However, with that said, there was actually more character description on the side characters and the support characters that I didn't have a hard time picturing them. The main characters, I could not picture them at all. I. There might have been like one description, like brown eyes, but I couldn't find any same with doing the hair color, height, anything other than personality. I just could not picture the characters, and there was no really basic description of what these characters look like, or alone height wise. I had an idea how tall Hazel was when she mentioned that one side care one past lover or past potential lover um was extremely taller than her so i got an idea that this one male character was like almost six feet tall if not six feet tall and a little bit taller so they kind of gave me an idea how tall hazel was she was probably under five feet if i had to take a guess and dark, take a guess that is the one drawback I will say about this book. Uh, this book was written, from my understanding, in 90 days. So she did a really good job writing this book in 90 days and getting it published in 90 days. Um, I will leave a link to the video. I do have the link to the video um, of her process with this book. I will leave that down below as well, as well as her YouTube channel as well. And her Instagram account because she did email me everything this way it would be a little bit easier for you guys to find them anyways that is the only thing I will say against this book uh, character development I thought the characters did a really good job um, doing character development Hazel went from being in complete denial not able to move on from her ex-husband and not really able to open up to being able to open up to uh, her uh, her dream guy. Being able to open up while well, the main male character Ethan uh, went from always going from toxic relationship to actually building up the courage in a healthy way and getting help where he needed help to be able to go into a healthy, stable relationship. Overall, the book, I would rate it, I, I know I have a 4 out of 5 stars on that on Amazon. And actually, yeah, I would actually rate it that high. And plot point. The plot structure I thought was really good, like fluffy world building. I think I already talked about the plot point. Actually, now I think about it. Uh, world building. Uh, world building was actually okay. I wish there was a little bit more description with the world. This way it was a little bit easier to read it. Like picture, up, picture it. Because I I'm, I'm, don't live in the U.S. And I don't know any cities that well in the U.S. So... I had the hardest time picturing it. Um, after this video, I'm, I'm actually, depending on schedule wise, I'm planning on actually Googling the city that she was in. So this way I have a better idea of what the city layout was. The traveling part of the book I thought was fine. I thought there was enough description for it. Uh, but city wise of where she there was where she lived I thought that was fine as well. 
But everywhere else with the come to the world building part, I thought it was kind of on the vague end. But like almost just enough information for readers like myself, uh, just for readers to get it in uh, like an imagination kind of thing. So other than the not able to picture the characters at all and a little bit lacking in the world building, I thought the book was fairly well written. It's a pretty good book. It does have humor in it. And it is a romance comedy book. I will leave the link down below for it. Overall, I would do a four, 4 out of 5 stars. I would highly recommend this book. Especially if you're into like a romance comedy book with some cute geeky moments. Uh, friends going into lovers. Now, just giving you guys a heads up. Uh, Hazel is in her 40s and I have not found any books in the romance genre or any other genre actually that I'm really thinking about that has a main character in their 40s and same with Ethan. He's in his 40s as well. So if you guys have any recommendations for books like that, let me know in the comments if you guys read any other books with their main characters actually in their 40s. Which actually was a, ni was a nice refresh on it. I would, I would like to read a little bit more about those types of stories than uh, characters that are in their teens or mid-twenties or Actually, I don't even think I, I recall seeing any books with char main characters in their 30s. Now that I'm really thinking about it. Anyways, now I'm blabbing. Overall, 4.5, 4, 4 out of 5 stars. Good world building. Great character development. Excellent plot structure, plot point. And that's basically all I have to say. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video because at this moment I don't really have a schedule. Um, I'm hoping to actually start posting videos on Saturdays. But at this moment I don't really have a schedule. So stay tuned, subscribe to my channel to get notified of all my posts. And all my links are down below if you wish to follow my other YouTube channel, Spooky Dark. It, all the links are down below as well. If you guys want to know details and updates of what's all going on. Um, I do have a newsletter link now. So just sign up for my newsletter. The link is down below as well. Or if you just want a YouTube video with uh, what's the basic of what's going on, let me know in the comments. And I will see you guys next time. And remember, stay true to yourself and stay unique. Bye.